Welcome back. I'm joined by Championship correspondent Pascal Le to preview Tuesday's cash between Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday. Pascal, I'll stop the home side, really out of form at the moment. It's just one win in five league games now. They've obviously dropped to fifth. You know, it's been a poor, a poor 2015, really, because you know Boxing Day there, that fantastic win at Brentford after they beat Middlesbrough. You know, two of the sides around them, they're right up there. You know, in the top two, level on points with you know the league leaders, but it's been a terrible run of form at the weekend. Obviously, that was probably their most disappointing result today. Going to Rotherham, one of the bottom six sides, and losing two 0 there. They really are struggling at the moment. Obviously, the week before they hosted Wigan, who down in 23rd, they couldn't beat them. It was nil nil there. So. Ipswich really struggling, not not scored in two games now as well. See Daryl Murphy missed the game against Wigan, but he came back against Rotherham. He can score. He's still the top scorer in the league with 18 goals, but they look a bit really off colour. Ipswich. Obviously Murphy came back there, like I said, and he had a great chance. I think it was inside 20 seconds. The Rotherham, you know, let him go through on goal, and he sort of just stuck it straight at the keeper. And you know, I think Ipswich they will feel they probably could have drawn that game. Rotherham they didn't do too much. They just both goals were set pieces as well. Mick McCarthy he likes his side to be very solid, doesn't he? So. You can see two goals of set pieces. Obviously, Connor Salmon scoring against a team that he was on loan at, so that would have hurt even more. So, you know, they did have some chances. Luke Chambers with a fantastic header to Adam Collin. It was a brilliant save. That would have made it one all at the time. So they could have maybe got something out of the game, but it wasn't to be in the end. But like I said, down to fifth, and they're now six points behind the top two of uh, Derby and Bournemouth. Obviously, Derby, Bournemouth, and Middlesbrough they're looking fantastic at the moment. Those three. So Ipswich have really started to fall down the table. And obviously, you look at the sides like Norwich in seventh, you know, they're, they're starting to climb and you wonder if Ipswich, because, you know, the top eight have really pulled away and you think two of the top eight aren't going to make the playoffs and at the moment it looks like Ipswich are one of the sides who probably drop out and, you know, Norwich might replace them in there. And, but, you know, you look at the other fixtures on Tuesday, Bournemouth and Derby play each other, Brentford and Watford play each other, so all those sides, some of them are going to drop points, so that's a positive for Ipswich, they'll look to win this game and, you know, they've got three of the next four fixtures at home. Even though they lost to Wigan, they've still got a fantastic home record. Uh, sorry, Drew with Wigan. They've got a fantastic home record this season. Three of the next four against Wednesday, Reading and Birmingham. All sides they'll fancy winning. So they'll, they'll, they'll want to get back to winning way soon because it has been very poor recently. You mentioned it's just struggles, but Sheffield Wednesday also struggling a bit of form at the moment. They really are, yeah. I think it's four without a win now uh, at the weekend. That you know Their home form has been documented so many times. They've really struggled to score at home. I think they've got one of the worst home records in the league. They hosted Cardiff, you know, fell behind quite early onto a Kenwin Jones header and then and they, they fought back in the end, won a penalty. Uh, Sergei Buss on his debut won a penalty. Obviously, he had a really good scoring record. Uh, I think it was in Bulgaria earlier on this season. I'm not sure how good he's going to be here, but he did win the penalty. And then Will Keane, the, on loan from Manchester United, he stuck it away. So that was decent for them. But, you know, they're 11 points off the playoffs, 12 clear of the drop zone. You know, they're in 10th place. They're, they're looking good in the top half there. But like I said, the top eight pulled away. So Wednesday, they haven't really got much chance unless they have an incredible run of form, which you can't see them doing. You can't, you can't really see them moving into the playoffs, but they are a long way clear of the bottom three as well. So they look pretty safe for a mid-table finish, which, considering they they struggled to sign any players in the summer, obviously they were right down near the bottom uh, last season. So Stuart Gray has done a really good job this season. He's made them a very solid outfit. But, you know, this game is a tough one for them. Both sides will be keen to return in winning ways. What's your score prediction for this one? I think it was just going to edge it. I think, you know, they'll be, they'll be so disappointed with the way they played in their last home game against Wigan. They want to get back to winning ways here, and they've got a decent uh, rec- record against Sheffield Wednesday recently. They're unbeaten in four against them, and uh, won this fixture last season 2-1 on the final day of the season. So I think they want to back them to win 2-1. Sports, I'm going for a 2-1 Ipswich win. 